Ah! Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. Today we have the Tech Rim Comfort 32 Fragmenting Shotgun Slug. Instead of being made for deep penetration, this is designed to break into four fragments. Kind of like a hand grenade going off inside the target. This is a lead slug and it's attached to the gas piston which acts as a stabilizer to help keep it flying straight through the air. Without the stabilizer it weighs in at 35 grams and with it 38.5. Welcome back Taufflater folks. Jeff and Officer Greg out here with you on probably what is the last shoot of 2017. Spasiba! Yeah, what he said. Hey, today we're shooting a, uh, a slug sent to us by Alexei Lavrov from Leningrad, Russia. Some of you might also call it St. Petersburg. This slug is uh, very similar to a Brennicky KO slug in that it's a rifled slug, has a little dimple in the top to make it a hollow point. However, this slug has been segmented from the factory into four pieces and compressed back together into one big slug. So its design is to fly like a slug and hit and impact uh, and break into four pieces. So should cause some significant damage. We're gonna give two different versions of this to try today. We're gonna start with a 30 grain and then Jeff has also loaded up a 35 grain. We're gonna chronograph him through his new Caldwell chronograph that uh, you Patreon supporters helped us buy and then also downrange you're going to see the Isis spice rack. Little known fact when Isis vacated Raqqa they left all of their cooking utensils so we're going to take out Isis spice rack with this. Isis spice rack by the way would make a great name for a salsa band. So the felonious Isis spice rack versus the comfort round. This is called the comfort round. Let's see how comfortable this is. Okay, 30 grain chronograph test mostly. Um, whenever you're ready. Here we go. 2486. What the heck? That is a fast round. Now we got some really goofy, very high chronograph readings, which were definitely not correct. It could have been all that smoke going over the top of it, so moving the chronograph back might alleviate that. Hopefully the chronograph isn't shot because we only used it one time before. Ready when you are. At 2664. 2664. This is the 35 grain heavy load and you can see a lot of oscillation with the slug. It doesn't really seem to affect the accuracy a whole lot but we would like to see a little uh, more stable aerodynamics. Thirty grains. Thirty grains. We're running over the chronograph again. Everything lined up good. Yep. Head gauge. Wow. wow. I heard some fragmentation sounds. I got twenty-seven eighty-eight on the crony. No. Hey, that can't be right! The point of this shot going through this ballistic gel was to show even that small amount of gel will cause these slugs to fragment into all those different pieces. It seemed to function very well, exactly the way it showed in the uh, photo in the brochure. Okay, 35 grain. Whenever you're ready. Out. Threw that thing a long ways. This is the 35 grain load, and he almost threw the same hole, in fact. And uh, again, we had that uh, textbook fragmentation of the slug. <laughs> okay, we are going to do space launch. F-18s! Okay, I'm ready. Ah! Okay, I'm ready. Ah! 
Okay, which flashlight are you going for? I'm going to hold high and right so we can hopefully hit the center one. Okay, I am ready. Oh, that one went about 50 yards, man. Oh! Greg was kind enough to bring out his broken tactical flashlights. Watch the center one. The flashlight actually snaps in half and ejects the battery out. And those pieces did fly quite a distance, uh, close to 50 yards away. And, uh,. I don't think it could have survived being run over by a tactical truck either, or dropped by a tactical helicopter. Okay, so you going for the uh, the fireman? I think we'll try for the fireman first. If he survives, we'll put him in the truck. Okay. See what we can do. I am ready. I think you got him. Go. Now besides this being a fun, goofy target, this gives you an idea how accurate the slug is. Uh, we're shooting less than 20 yards away, but still, uh, not bad accuracy at all. Okay, let's see if we can sit one right through the grill. Alright, right through the center. 35 grain. When you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. There you go. Yeah, that one has some pieces. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is just a pot that came with my Keurig coffee maker. I never used it, so hey, make a great target, wouldn't it? Okay, wet magazine fragmentation test. 30 grains. First? Yes, uh, 30 grains. I'm going to aim right at the top near uh, Nutton Fancy's head. Okay, I am ready. Oh! Wow, we might not have much left. <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd get two shots out of that. Oh! That is a gory entrance wound. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty consistent what we've seen all day. I was aiming for right here, and it hit a little bit low and a little bit left. Tore through these magazines. It's our standard uh, three inches of magazines dry, and then we soak them and they swell up to about five and a half inches. But if you look right here, it almost looks like we're getting multiple pieces now. Okay. Coming through. There's winter nothing fancy right there. <laughs> Assassin's Creed nothing fancy. <laughs> and there's uh, your plastic wad. Oh, okay. As I'm coming through here, I also found one of the lead segments. Remember, these things are breaking up into fours, four equal quadrants. And that's one of them. It's a little deformed. Yeah. That's a decent decent chunk of lead flying through you. Yeah. There's another little piece of one. That's lead, not paper. I don't know what else is in here. This was our back page. This okay. Is, this is the very back, and it looks like it stretched. And it obviously blew the tape off, but it did not puncture through here. So. Okay. So it didn't go through, but it blew everything apart. <laughs> Even with wrapped in duct tape. So inside there's probably more Somewhere. fragments if we had time to look for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. Alright, here we go. 
Wow. Now this is a VAT-19 five-pound gummy bear. Very tough. And again, we wanted to show how the slug fragments when it goes through a fleshy target like that. Worked absolutely perfect. And by the way it threw this gummy bear so far, it gives you an idea how much energy transfer was going on inside the bear. So I hit him low in his little jelly belly. We're actually aiming for right here. It hit a little low, which has been consistent. I should have aimed higher. And out the back we see oh. this we saw earlier on, on the other gel block. It's pulled the four little segments, I think, this is my prediction, is those four little segments are separating and actually pulling the material in between them out with it. Because we saw this little tail on that gel block too. Huh, that's wild. And that was just the 30 grain one, right? There's one sticky tail. Look at that little guy. Yeah. In, stuff it back in there. Insert comments here. <laughs> you can see all the way through that. All the way through his little bear booty. Wow. Okay, we got two 35s left, so we're going to shoot them up about 40 yards here. See how they group. Whenever you're ready. Okay, we'll take another one, see how they do. Okay, 40 yards. This thing was already here. That's our first one. And there's our second one. And they've got almost like a, they're hitting sideways they're or something. They're like acorn shape. That's the best way to describe it. Or a bell shape. <laughs> they must be doing the Watusi through the air or something, so you know? Like tumbling and hitting sideways? Or just flying, you know, oscillating a lot. Very odd though, but accurate. That thing's a dessert plate size sticker at 40 yards, not too bad. Yeah, six inch. There you go, there's your long shot, 40 yards. <laughs> 